So today we're playing PAL World with six different GPUs. And to start it off, we're playing the game with the RTX 3080 at 4K at the max settings. And here we are with that. So although I'm showing gameplay for one resolution for each card, I'm going to be speaking about the other resolutions as we go through. So, so far we're sitting in the low 50s and the low 60s. It's, I guess, decent for 4K. And we are using the LSS. Let's kill this chicken real quick. He's pissed off at me, but I don't care. He's getting absolutely knocked out. The game does stutter here and there as well. Keep that in mind. It isn't, I guess, fully smooth, even at those low resolutions. Hey, come back here. So yeah, we got a couple of stutters here and there. It isn't too major, to be honest, but it does happen. But overall, it does run, I guess, decently well. And once we leave this little area here, the FPS does go up into the mid 60s at 4K. Now playing at 440p with this card and the same settings, the FPS goes from the 80s up to the 90s and at its peak, it was in the 100s for me. So obviously it's quite good there for a co-op game, not really very competitive, so FPS isn't really that important. As long as you're getting a decent amount, you should be fine. And obviously sitting in the 80s and above, it's quite fantastic. And lastly for 1080p, I was getting around 130 to 140 FPS. So yeah, all around it does quite well. At 4K, it does fall below 60 at the max settings, but if you use DLSS or if you bring it down a little bit to the high settings, for example, obviously you can get above 60 FPS with ease. So yeah, that's the first card done, guys. The RTX 3080. Time for our second GPU. For our second GPU, we're playing with the RTX 4060 and using, I guess, the medium preset, but really it's the high settings. So going to the settings, you'll be able with that. So yeah, in the game at 1080p, the FPS goes from the 90s up to the 110s. But again, the game does stutter here and there, so keep that in mind. It's not fully smooth at all times. So now for the graphics, the game does look a bit worse than before. versus the max settings, obviously. But the medium preset is still quite good. I think at 1080p, the biggest issue is the resolution. So everything does look a bit softer. For 440p, the FPS falls all the way down into the 60s and the 70s. Again, still quite good for a game like this. Obviously playable. And if you have the Steam version, you can use DLSS. But sadly for me, I'm playing on Game Pass, which doesn't have DLSS access yet. So I can't test that. And that's the FPS that I get. And at 4K, unfortunately, the game plays at 30 to 40 FPS. It's the high 30s and the low 40s, pretty much. It can be playable for you, maybe. I don't know. But for me, I want to get 60 FPS for a game like this. And sadly, with the 3050, without DLSS, we can't do that. For our third GPU, it's going to be the RTX 3060 Ti. So on paper, the 4060 and this card are very similar. And for 1080p, that is the case. As you guys can see, we're sitting in the 110s and the 120s on average. But I believe with the 4060, it did fall down into the 90s occasionally. And with this GPU, it hasn't yet. Now at 1440p and 4K, there's actually a difference between the two cards. For 1440p, we see around a 10 FPS increase pretty much. So with the 4060, we sat into the 60s and the 70s on average. Now with this card, we're sitting in the 70s and the 80s on average. And at 4K, we sat into the 30s and the 40s, or the high 30s and the low 40s for the 4060. And right here, we're sitting in the 40s and the 50s on average. For our fourth GPU, it's going to be the RTX 2070. And this card does quite well as well. At 1080p, we're sitting in the 80s and the 90s. But the high settings slash the medium preset looks good and plays well as well. Now 4K is unplayable sadly, but 440p is definitely possible. At 440p, we're sitting in the 50s on average. It's like the mid 50s and the high 50s. And in those easier scenes, it does go up into the 60s as well. So yeah, if you're playing on Game Pass, you can't use the LSS, unfortunately. So your options are play at a lower preset or play at 1080p, or I guess a lower resolution. And for 4K, it won't be great. You're sitting in the 20s and the 30s. So again, if you're on Game Pass, it's unplayable for you. But if you have DLSS access, then obviously using that, the game will become more playable. For the RTX 3050, we're playing with the low preset, which is the medium settings. And yeah, guys, we're sitting in the 70s and the 80s. It's quite good. And for the graphics, a bit worse. As you guys can see with the rock, the object detail is quite poor. It's very blurry. Uh, it doesn't look good. And we do get some popping as well, which was present with the medium preset. But this is far more obvious. But the game is playable, again at 70 to 80 FPS, and can go up into the 90s. And for those high resolutions, if you're playing on Game Pass, I would just skip it to be honest. It's not worth it. I would just stick with 1080p. But if you can use DLSS, then obviously playing at those high resolutions is also viable for this card as well. Time for our last GPU, which is the GTX 1060. For the final GPU, it is going to be the GTX 1060. And in the game, we're sitting in the 50s and the 60s at the low preset. That's quite good actually. This card is around 8 years old at this point, and it's able to play the game at a smooth enough frame rate that the game is enjoyable at. And yeah, for the graphics, it looks quite good. It's definitely usable, obviously. I can see some pop-in, which might be annoying for you, but overall, it's not too bad. Now for the VRAM, it's using up around 4 gigs. 
as you guys might know with the 1060 there's two models a 3 gig and a 6 gig so if you are using a 3 gig model you might be running into some issues at some point as you play the game for the system ram around 11 gigs of usage it's pretty low to be honest most of you have more than that at this point um so yeah it should be quite good there and yeah that's pretty much it guys that is pal world with six different gpus and to be honest it does run quite well um again the game does stutter here and there keep that in mind but fps wise on most cards it does get about 60 fps and above with the 3080 you can play at 4k with that dlss and get almost 60 fps at the max settings if you turn the settings down obviously you can get 60 stable or use dlss if you're playing on steam now for the 30 series cards and the 40 series cards Again, 4K is doable with DLSS, but for the mid-range cards, I would ideally play at 1080p or 440p and use the medium preset. So yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time for the next video. See you guys there.